Hello and welcome. I'm Lynn of Lennox Stitches Creates and welcome to Flossmas Day 4. It is December 4th, 2023. Welcome back if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. Uh, December is the month when we open up all the advent calendars and I share with you what's inside. Maybe you'll be, um, maybe you'll be able to find one this year or maybe you then put it on your radar to get for next year. Um, some of them start very early. Um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, I know they started selling theirs in January of 2023. So I paid it and I didn't have to worry about it all year. And a lot of the ones that I've gotten have been very much staggered, which is why I ended up with so many. So um, thank you for joining me again. So, we have from the Black Needle Society, The Nice List, Day 4, and I know what it is. So, I am pretty sure it is the fabric for our first kit for this um, Flossmas. Ooh, it's color and cotton. It's 32 count. And... It is called Over the Moon. Isn't that pretty? It's a very blue-gray. Um, that's very close. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And where did I put my, there it is. Okay, so it is, I'll put my glasses on because we're not struggling anymore. Uh, Over the Moon 32 Count Linen. This fabric was chosen by the designer for our first kitted project. So it's, uh, the count was chosen by the designer, not by the Black Needle Society. So everybody's getting the same count because it would be too difficult to go through all the nice list boxes and try to find, you know, this one wants 14 count and this one wants, it's too much. So it was just, that's the way it's done. Um, so gorgeous fabric, love it. Forbidden Fiberco. Day four. Now, as you, I told you, um, we get on the even days, we get a piece of the pattern and we get um, a new floss. So I did start mine on the second and I was really bad and stitched all day long. So I'll try to show you. It's very long. So this is the top and then side goes all the way down and there's another border down here just like the top and we've got this one little bit of who knows we'll find out soon or we'll find out in 12 more days <laughs> that's not right I'm um, let's see I think the 24th we'll get our last piece of the pattern. So that is that so far. So let's see what our floss is today. And, ooh, pretty. It's called Fezziwig. Very nice, very nice red. like it. And let's see what we got in the pattern. Ooh, we got some words. Um, heart. It's going to go near the top. And we're going to add to that piece that we had at the bottom. So there's 345 stitches. So that's good. That's a nice, that'll be a nice easy day stitching. Um, I do have some place to go today, so that won't be bad. Okay. Um, Putini Putini. Another tall one for day four. And what I like about Putini Putini, she put little, so you could hang them 
you know, if you wanted to, um, my husband made me that Christmas tree a couple of years ago. We just didn't pull it out. I was going to and hang them up on the tree, but I didn't. So, maybe next year. Okay, and here we're continuing on with the alphabet series. D, E, and F, Dragonfly, Eggs, and Fox. Those cute blocks that she did. And those are all 45 by 45. Caterpillar cross stitch, day four. Um, everything seems so wonderful at Christmas time. And then there's the picture on the back. We'll go back into our box. We'll be making a whole picture. Ooh, nice. Can always use these some needles and these are 24s so yay I actually use all sizes of needles because I don't always stitch on the same count um, I think 26s are my favorites but I I kind of jump around if if it's an Ada with a very open weave then I'm gonna use um, a bigger needle um, that doesn't bother me I I personally don't like petites because I they just feel too tiny in my hand but I know a lot of people who like to play thread chicken love petites so you know everybody's different and speaking of which I haven't shown you my tea for today um, here is today's mug be joyful and today's tea is from the Mad Hatter um, Restaurant and Tea Room, which is in Anoka. Is that right, Janelle? Minnesota. And this is one that I got from Janelle, who is Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time on YouTube. Um, this is an herbal tea, and it is called Vanilla Cream, and it smells so much vanilla. Ooh, and it's it's very smooth when you when you taste it. That vanilla, it's just so good. Yum. Okay. So, day four from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We've got a box. I'm guessing a plate. We'll see. Oh, plates, multiple. So we've got, and they're like Corel wear. So that's nice, very usable. So they're all, they're different color of the same. Oh no, I guess they are different quilt patterns too. That's nice, I like that. That's a very that's a very handy gift for this time of year. And a lot of our sandwich plates have broken over the years. I mean we've been married for 35 years, so <laughs> and I could buy more, but so that'll be nice. That that's a good one. And that leaves us with our Walker's shortbread cookie for today. I think we should still be getting a different shape before we start repeating because I believe the back has um, six different ones. So my guess, this is the salted caramel shortbread square and you can see the pieces of caramel in there so thank you for joining me again today i'm gonna have my cookie and my tea and i gotta get back to sewing because you know how it is always busy thank you for joining me i will see you tomorrow bye